Hello, hello. My name is Janine. Welcome to another episode of Trigger Warning. So with me today, I've got co-founder of X Token, Semi Chan. Hello, Semi. Hey, Janine. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. It's another exciting topic. I think it's going to be a quick one, but it is a little bit controversial in some people's eyes. One of the Twitter accounts that we follow and that we highly esteem, Mr. Whale or at Whale Chart, recently mm -hmm. spoke or tweeted about Jim Cramer saying that Bitcoin is a scam. So, mm -hmm. Sammy, I want to get your take on this. Is Bitcoin a scam? Is cryptocurrency a scam? Is crypto even real money? Like, give us a little breakdown on yeah. your take on this. <clears throat> okay, so... Uh, any currency, whether it's cryptocurrency or traditional fiat currency, right? Is it real or does it actually have value, right? The, the determination of that value is can you use it to buy or sell? Does it have um, real value, right? Because some people are like, the only thing I believe in is cold, hard cash, right? Well, what if you have all that cash? but it's worth less and less every time you go spend it. The same $20 that you used to spend three years ago doesn't get you the same $20 that you have now, but it's still real because it's tangible, right? And then you think about the money in the bank. When you log into your online banking and you see that you have money in that account, does it make you feel good when you see that number? Or is it that ledger entry plus your confidence in your local banking institution that they could provide the funds on that money being spent. So there's that second piece of liquidity, right? So the, the, the question is, is Bitcoin real money? Yes, it is. And people are like, yeah, but I don't, I can't physically hold Bitcoin because cryptocurrency the essence of cryptocurrency that all it is is a ledger entry in your wallet. That's either a positive deposit in, and then also it could be deposit, you know, transactions out. But at the end of the day, the ledger, you know, overall sum, if it's a positive number, that means how much Bitcoin or how much cryptocurrency you have. Now it's just a digital line item entry. So the second thing that you need to have real value or is it not a scam is that can you take that cryptocurrency and spend it somewhere or exchange it or trade it for another currency that can you know actually have value right so is Jim Cramer wrong bitcoin is a scam yes i believe he's wrong because bitcoin has real value right now um I'm not talking about any of the technological advancements, but Bitcoin has value in the marketplace right now. And you can buy things with it. You can go to an ATM and withdraw money out of it. So Bitcoin is real. Now, it's not a physical thing. But again, even if you're holding gold, your gold is only as good as the places that you can spend it. But if you're if you're buying and trading gold on electronic marketplaces in the commodities market, you don't physically have the, those ounces of gold with you, right? So, in my opinion, you know, uh, Jim Cramer is like likes to stir controversy. He likes to stir uh, people talking about him. So he's saying Bitcoin is a scam, right? But at the end of the day, it's real money. Um, is the U.S. dollar a scam? It's possible. Is the U.S. dollar more and more devalued? It all depends on the U.S. dollar's ability to be used in transactions. And at some point, it may become less and less valuable. And it may not be used globally anymore. So these are some of the discussions and things that are really important for you to understand. Um, if you get into cryptocurrency, learning how to inspect your own blockchain or your wallet or your ledger entries and understand money in, money out, where did it go? What's my true value on things? Um, and, you know, and that's how you educate yourself, you know, but, but yeah, like in my opinion, Bitcoin is not a scam. 
it's real money. Um, and I would say it's even more viable in the global landscape um, because of where the technology is. Mm -hmm. so, so future wise, yeah. don't get stuck on the tactility of money, just being able to hold it. I think people do have a mindset right. thing on that. Uh, if your wallet's full of <laughs> cash, there's a mental thing to that. Mm -hmm. But don't get stuck on it because if you, as you said, if there's a positive number that you can read that says, yes, mm -hmm. you this has got value, then there is value associated with it. Yes, great. Crypto yeah. does fluctuate, maybe more than your dollars in the bank, but it still has mm -hmm. value and you can use it. And as you said, in future, yeah. it might even become much more valuable with the technology, with the way that things are moving into a decentralized exchange and just being much more useful internationally. So very, very that exciting. Yeah. I love I love talking about things that are on point and that people often ask, you know, this is a recurring question that keeps coming up oftentimes, you know, is it a scam? Is it real money? Is it, can it be trusted? So for once mm -hmm. and for all, Sammy's now said, it is real, it has value, and you can mm -hmm. use it. So yeah. thank you for listening today. Thanks for that quick one, Sammy. I appreciate it. Um, and yeah. if you're interested you're in learning more about Xtoken, visit us at xtoken.com. And we look forward to seeing you in another episode of Trigger Warning. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.